How to kill the black fam here, guys, and this is going to be my first video of my subcategory, or what you would like to call sub series, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is a versus video, and today we're going to do a versus on Ryuhi from K Kyle Hitman Reborn and Takeda from Kenichi, History Strongest Disciple. So let's start off with Takeda. He is basically, you know, what you would like to call a fly boy. Uh, an excellent boxer and a, a complete person. I would like to say that he's about getting pussy. And the reason why I say that is because he kind of flirts with every girl inside the series in some type of way. And it ain't nothing to matter with that. He's a guy. He's just living his own life, doing his own thing. That's what you're supposed to do. He's a complete man whore. Let's leave it at that. He's a complete man whore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about he's a complete man whore. So, a couple of his abilities are left straight. You got illusionary left, ultra bolo punch. All these are done with his left hand, by the way. Like, I don't know. I guess this is a masturbation hand. The strongest hand you got, you know. So, he is a southpaw. Uh, super tornado uppercut. Double, su double super swirling uppercuts. So, that's that's two hands, guys. Now, you know. Giant cat eye frog punch. He has an ability that's similar to Kanichi's inside the series called Auto Rhythm. And that's, that's similar to Kanichi's Mubiyoshi. So, he, he is, like, very skilled with multiple shit. He has a long list of abilities. I'm not going to name them all because it's long as hell. And I just don't have the time to do it inside this video. All right, let's talk about Ryuhi here a little bit. He's from Kate Kyle, Hitman Reborn. He's one of my favorite animes. Uh, my description of him is he's a dumbass, he's an excellent boxer, and he's Von Gola Decimo's Guardian of the Sun. Well, the candidate at this moment. Decimo is 10. It's not Italian, I believe. I'm just going to go with that. And a couple of abilities is his extreme straight, extreme rush, extreme corkscrew punch, maximum cannon, maximum inogram, maximum combination, sunshine counter, and sunshine uppercut. He has more, but I'm going to get along with that inside the middle of the video. So, so far, that's my little things I can tell you about the two guys. Let's talk about them possibly battling, you know, if they were to duke it out. So let's talk about a few similarities. They're both boxers. They're both very fairly close with the main characters of their series. And they are both protagonists inside their series. So that's good. And they both gone through rigorous training to become better boxers, become better of an aid to their to their buddies, you know, friends, whatever the hell you want to call them, alliance or allies, I mean. They are very they are both very self centered too. Like they think about themselves a lot after a while. Like, if they feel like that they didn't really do a good job, they will get pissed off with themselves. Now, for the differences, they are, well, Ryuhi is younger than than Takeda. So, I'm guessing that Takeda has more experience when it comes to the boxing thing. But, when it comes to power-wise, it would have to give it to Ryuhi. Like, he has way more stuff. For example, he unlocks the Knuckles Maximum Break, which is a technique that he learns from a combination with his... Dying Will Flame Spirit, should we call it? Dying Will Flame Spirit, which is a kangaroo that gives him more power. It is a weapon from the first generation Von Gola family members. It involves a pair of boxing gloves, a headgear, and it's in its version X form, which is the 10th generation. It also includes a right shoulder arm, armor, and somewhat a type armor around his legs. And other than the fact that Ryuhi gets his abilities from something, and Takeda doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that they both are skilled boxers. So that's why I think it's a good matchup. Plus the fact that Takeda trained with a monstrous boxing coach who, I mean, like, punched craters in the moon if he fucking wanted to. But never really showed it a series. But if he wanted to, we, he probably could. But Takeda is OP'd as well. For example, Takeda has a technique called Giant Cat Eye Frog Punch, which I believe is stronger than... Then Ryuhi from Street Fighters, sure you can. As you, if you know Ryuhi, nothing is stronger than that punch. That punch is like history's strongest punch, like through any game or anime or anything related to that shit. Japanese, that is supposed to be like completely crazy. This guy uses two arms to knock you in the air and basically subdue you and just fuck you up regardless. So don't don't get him twisted. Oh, he doesn't have any powers. That doesn't mean shit. Okay, 
he he gets his ass. He 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 kicks ass. All right. Now to settle this argument between the two, Takeda gets tired after constantly whooping somebody's ass. Let's leave it at that. He gets he gets tired. And see, Ryu he gets tired as well, but he has this ability from having the sun flame that he gets healed and he doesn't get tired as much as you think he does. So I think that's a big benefit factor or a big factor period inside this battle. I think that's what that's what would make it hard for Takeda to win. So if I had to give somebody to fight, I would give it to Ryuhi. I'm sorry. Like that's it. Ryuhi is winning this battle between the two boxers. I have I have nothing else to say. Plus his abilities are more OP other than the fact that if Takeda was to somehow land off some of his techniques, it would be a hard fight. But if he if Ryuhi didn't have that ability, I will give it to Takeda. But since he does, Ryuhi is obviously the winner. But I would like to hear what you guys have to say. I want to know your opinion. That's mine. So below, leave a comment. Tell me who you think should win. Who, why you think they will win. Uh, subscribe and like. You know, Don't be afraid to press those two buttons, dude. It's, it's hot okay here, dog. Like, it's nothing better than that. So thank you for watching my first versus video. And like I said, like and subscribe. Do it. Do it.